for decades, Australian men have been harnessing the true power of a good beer. We've learnt that when you're down the first, you can quench your thirst from a hard day's work. Then it's on to the second. That's when you notice your jokes are getting funnier. When finishing the third, even dirty old Don's jokes are getting a good reception. You empty the fourth, and you've just become as charitable as Mother Teresa, and you're blessing all your mates. During the fifth, you learn you're the greatest thinker footy has ever seen, and every flaming ref's forgot his glasses. You're down your sixth, and your missus just keeps getting better looking. Bloody unreal. While finishing the seventh, you realise the free pub food's got better with age. Number eight, and suddenly you can speak all languages across all ages. After necking the ninth, your best mate's bird can barely keep her hands off ya. You're on to your tenth, and you've just rounded the corner to a bloody good Tuesday night. Hammering home the eleventh, and you're suddenly as tough as steel and as quick as lightning. And number 12 gets you a free ride home. Then you crack the baker's dozen, and while every other joke is stuck in the morning commute, you've gone and earned yourself a well-earned day off. You beauty. So keep working hard, fellas, to be the best you can be. And remember, nothing's better for you than an ice-cold beer. Yeah, so excited for the day, getting to work with an international director on a commercial. Yeah, it's the biggest opportunity I've had. There were a few noticeable differences in his way of operating, but uh, I guess that's part of the experience. I've worked a lot of sets over the years and seen some wild behavior, but never from the director. I don't know how they do it down in Australia. We have professional standards up here. I'll call it freak. I even thought, you know, if he looks anything like Hugh Jackman, just maybe, just maybe I'd slip over the edge a little bit, break some of my morals, maybe I'd get a bigger role. But <laughs> after meeting him, God, does he drink. Frankly, with what he was wearing on set, <laughs> he needs a lot of help. What is he? Is he a drunk? And who taught him how to speak English? He doesn't speak English. Who taught him how to speak English? A kangaroo? Douchebag. Don't tell him I said that though. What a joke of a day. What, does he not think we notice that he's turning up the heat? I know that Australia is a hot place, but that doesn't mean we have to work in these conditions. And I'm not gonna wear these around on set. You're asking me questions? I got a question. Who let this guy into this country? Gotcha! Holy flaming hell, boys, why didn't put them on, you fucking bunch of scouts? This guy's fucking ridiculous. Fuck this, I'm not wearing this shit. You're not wearing that shit either. Fuck this guy. Hey, Ozzy! Fucking, you put those shit on, man! We're fucking out of here. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. I'm not wearing that shit. I didn't sign up for this. I'm an actor. Fucking actor! Ride that home, buddy. Anyone got a number for a taxi? 